Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing a strong class called Yoga for Fitness and it's right after our 30 day hero journey through yoga challenge and this class is a continuation in a loose way to that journey because being fit is part of the hero's journey, being fit is part of the human journey and being fit is something embedded encoded in us children now as a mom i see that those playgrounds are crazy children all compete to get really fit they do all these exercises that are through the roof hard and challenging and dangerous and they all do it and all parents accept it as a necessity we are all rushing to be fit so that we can host the spirit in a body that can actually uh, host our our energy, our the work we want to do in the world. So there is a little bit of a resentment in society uh, about the pressure that we're, it's put on us to be fit, but it does serve a purpose. We all need to work on it because if nothing else, it allows us to age uh, with less suffering. <laughs> but otherwise it can provide us with a lot of enjoyment and pleasure in life, right? All right, are you ready? to flow with strength and ease. Coming to the front of the mat, draw the shoulders back and down, pull, pull the belly in. Fitness starts with your connection to your core and with your breath and with your mula bandha. Mula bandha is your root chakra connection so that we are grounded. Palms of the hands facing forward, lengthen through the crown of the head. Contemplating why do you come to your mat often? Why do you need to be fit? What is the purpose? It is not really a vanity purpose, even if it looks like for some people that it is a vain need, it really is far deeper than that. Deep breaths. Inhale the arms out and we're gonna do circles, this is Sorry, to bring movement into the joints and also it is strengthening for the shoulders. And reverse the direction of your circles. And again, reverse. Speed it up, reverse, speed it up. And you can shake it out and we're gonna take a fluid step back to the back of the mat and to the front. Just feel your body, loosen up, tap into your toddler self when you were bursting with energy and you needed to move constantly. Tap into that, it is encoded in us. We're all here to experience this physical existence. Warming up the body, reach over the head and walk to the back or hop to the back, hop to the front, clasping the hands, reaching over to one side, side bend, extending the tailbone down back to the center opposite side. So when you reach over to the left, make sure that the outer edge of the right foot is pressing down. That creates this length here. One more time on each side and make sure that you're opening the left shoulder when you're reaching over to the right. Open, look up. Center opposite side. Reaching over to the left, open the right shoulder. Right rib cage. Great, back to center, exhale, forward fold. 
bending the knees and just shifting side to side here. And let's step back in plank. Take the right leg up and bring the knee between the elbows. One, two, three. Squeeze the knee into your chest. Step it through and come up high lunge. Breathe. Clasp your hands and reach over to the right, extending the tailbone down and feeling that length, feeling the stretch in the quadriceps. Open the rib cage. Back to center, open the arms out, twist to the right, drop the right hand down, left arm up, reach. Coming out of it, a few circles here. Strengthening those shoulders and reverse. Great, big breath in. Exhale down. Step it back and take the left leg up in plank. Three knee tucks. Steady moving. Squeeze the knee into your chest, round the back. Pull the belly in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Step it through. Come up, high lunge. Clasping the hands, extending the tailbone down and reaching over to the left. Look up and feel that stretch going all the way through the obliques, all the way into the quadriceps. Coming out of it. Open the arms out, twist to the left, drop the left hand down, right arm up, look up, lengthen. Release, reaching to the sides, circles with the hands, reverse. Big breath in. And exhale down. Plank, lower down onto your belly, lift hands and feet off the floor and pause here, strengthening the lower back, lift a little more and a little more and a little more and a little more ah, and a little more. Reach over the head and here we're going to keep the elbows at shoulder level and just bring them back, squeezing the back. few more of those. Really squeeze the back. Great. Release the hands underneath the shoulders. Down dog. You can walk in place here. Inhale the right leg up, step it between the hands, high lunge come up and let's lower the left knee down, one, two, three, keeping the right knee over the ankle, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten, hold the high lunge, feel the muscles working, tune into your body, feel your alignment, the alignment of the feet, the muscles above the knee working, the supportive structure of the knee strengthening here, the hips, the glutes. 
Great. Exhale the left hand down and spin the right arm up. Meanwhile, keep your back heel straight up. Don't shift over and let it, let it drop to the side. Keep it up and keep that right knee in. Lengthening through the crown of the head. Exhale. Great. Lower down. Plank. To Chaturanga. To up dog. To down dog. And let's take the left leg up, step it through, come up, high lunge, straight back, extending the tailbone down, keeping the left knee over the left ankle, clasp your hands and reach over to the left. And coming back up and let's lower down one lower the right knee directly down and the left knee stays back three four five six seven eight nine and ten hold You can do a few shoulder rows here for the final hold here. Great. Right hand down, left arm up and twist here. Keep that back heel up. Exhale, down, step it back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Breathe. Inhale the right leg up, stepping through, high lunge. Let's bring the hands out, twist to the right, bring the left hand onto the right knee, drop the back, hand back and around, look behind. Come out of this and let's lower the knees 10 times. One, two, three, four, squeeze, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands onto the hips. Shift just slightly forward. Try to keep that right knee back and kick back. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Reach over the head. Exhale down. Plank to Chaturanga to up dog to down dog.
Inhale the left leg up, step it through. And come up, high lunge. And let's open the arms out, twist, lower down, lengthen. Inhale, reaching over the head. Let's lower the knee down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, squeeze nine, ten. Shift a little forward, but try overall to keep that knee back. And let's kick back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and exhale down, plank. Lower down onto your belly, lift the legs and hands off the floor, lift, lift, lift. Squeeze your elbows in. Lift a little higher. Great. Down dog. And let's inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Come up, high lunge. Lower the left knee down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the next exercise will be a hip strengthener, which is so needed in yoga as we open the hips in yoga a lot. So you're gonna do cross back back cross lunge and here lift the leg and squeeze this little muscle here which is the hip strengthening part okay. are you ready <laughs> let's go one squeeze two diagonally squeeze place your hand on there and feel how much this strengthens the muscle five Six, keep your knee back. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Squeeze and pause here. One, two, you can keep your knee. Right knee bent and pulse. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Great, step it back. In lunge, you should feel a good burn everywhere. Exhale down, plank. Lower down onto your belly, lift, 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 lift. And exhale, down dog. Breathe. And let's take the left leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Feel the muscles tune in. As you move through this motion of lowering the knee down, feel the quadriceps, feel the glutes on the left side, feel your obliques, spine lengthening, feel your belly firming. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, and let's step it back and across and squeeze it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, squeeze, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and let's pause, one, two, keep the opposite knee bent, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Great, step it at the front. Hands over the heart. Finishing at the front. Breathe into the heart. Open the chest, widen the back. Inhale the hands over the head, reach. Exhale, diving forward, straight back. Bend the knees when you need to. Inhale, look ahead of you. And step it back, plank. And chaturanga. And up dog. And down dog. Breathe. Drawing the navel in and up. Inhale the right leg up. Step it draw and come straight up into warrior two. Let's reverse it, walk the left hand down the left leg, right arm up, reach. And coming out of this warrior two again. And straightening the leg. Hinging in the hips, reach way ahead of you, lower down triangle. And let's reach over the head, turn the palm of the hand down. Pressing that right hip back and lengthening both sides of the torso, externally rotating the left hip and the left rib cage. Great, exhale, both hands down on the inside of the right leg. Squeeze your right knee into your shoulder and walk the left foot away from you for a nice stretch here. Feel your way into the stretch, find where the stretch is working for you. It's the balance between the stretch feeling like something so yummy and delicious and something your body needs and finding the edge a little bit of stepping out of the comfort zone where sometimes stagnation begins. <laughs> the comfort zone is not always the best place to stay long in. All right, step it back, both knees down. And walk your hands away from you, hips over the knees, begin to lower the chest down. 
for a back bend. Exhale down, um, child's pose. And come back up, take the toes under, down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through. Warrior two directly. Find your warrior, experiment, the micro adjustments here. Feel it, feel the hips, feel, feel the hip, pelvis, feel the legs. Look down, make sure that your left knee is pointing directly forward and aligning with your toes. You always want your joints to align on top of each other and in the same direction. So a good example here is in Plie oftentimes it's a very common mistake, stay in warrior two. People open the feet all the way out, but then the knees are pointing slightly inward. You want to align everything so there is no too much torque in the knee and the ankle. So feel your body. Poses should feel comfortable in your body. They may not look good, but they should feel very comfortable. Let's reverse it, walk the right hand down. Even stepping out of your comfort zone should feel pretty damn good. Great, coming out of it, straighten the leg, hinging at the hips, start opening that right hip which is already open but deepen it and lower down here working with lengthening the tailbone here feel the difference of the back arching here the tailbone pressing back in your chest popping so bring your hand onto the tailbone and press it forward to align with the spine climb up a little higher on your leg and feel that difference let's see facing you the difference would be just arching and reaching and lowering down and then bringing the hand onto the tailbone, bringing the hand up onto the shin bone and extending the tailbone down and feel the difference here, lengthening both sides of the torso. You can reach over the head. And let's bring both hands on the inside. Walk your right foot further back. Feel that stretch. Great. And here, lift up the hips and step it at the front in a yogic squat. Hands in prayer, elbows pressing out into the knees. Relaxing the shoulders, widening the back. And let's bring the hands on the floor, straighten the legs, straight back, hands on the hips, come up. That's a good alignment. Don't roll up unless the knees are down and you're feeling each and every vertebra. All right, here we're gonna shift the weight onto the right leg. Widen the hips, feel the hips, straighten the back. The curvature in the lower back should be natural, so there should be a natural curve. And we're gonna bend the right knee, lower down, either touch your knee or touch the floor if you feel that you have the strength to do that. That is a one-legged deadlift. And then come up. Step it back in back lunge and step it out in squat. And that's one rep and let's go straight back here. I can't emphasize this enough. Great, step it back, lunge, squat.
squat and really push the body back. It's probably one of the best exercises all around yoga and body weight. Three. The good old squat. Four. Five. Focus on your form. Six. Keep your hips level. Seven. Eight. Should feel a burn. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nine. Ten, and you know it. We're gonna do the same on the other side. All right, let's not rest too much. Level the hips and keep them level. Lower down, step it back, squat, and really push the booty back. Keep that curve in the lower back. Two. Four, engaging the core. Five, squeeze. Six, seven, eight, nine. The lifts require really a lot of body awareness. So they're quite a beautiful and ten, quite a beautiful exercise. Here we're going to squat all the way down and we'll drop onto the body and we'll lower down onto the back and we'll bring the hands behind the head without tugging and pulling on the head we'll just keep the shoulders away from the ears and the chest open and the elbows back as far back as you can keep them and we'll lift the legs and we'll do one knee to elbow and really drive the move through your core, not through the elbows. The elbows are following the core. So really one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hands underneath the booty, bend the knees and lower down, lower squeeze, lower squeeze, kind of like leg lifts, but just a little more controlled with the bent knee and less of a range of motion. You can lift the head and just feel where you want to stop. Keep the lower back on the floor. Five more. You can straighten the legs. and lay back down lift the legs and let's reach towards the ankles one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, ten, right knee into the chest, supine twist. And coming out of it, opposite side, left knee 
in and across, look away from the knee, soften. Coming out of this, soles of the feet together, reclining butterfly pose. Closing the eyes. Allowing yourself to sink in the moment. Allowing yourself to be empty, to float. Feeling the eternal nature of each and every moment, stepping out of the linear time and into the eternal nature of each and every moment, where there is deep sense of calm, And let's bring the hands on the outsides of the legs and gently bring the knees up without the knees touching yet. And roll onto one side and keep rolling up until you roll into child's pose. And take a few moments here. rolling into yourself and allowing the body to be heavy, the shoulders to be heavy, the face muscles to relax. And let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders and press yourself up to sit it. Inhale the hands over the head. Exhale them over the third eye. Over the lips and over the heart, sealing the benefits of the practice today. And coming out of this practice with a feeling, a sensation of being fit sealing the benefits of that strength building and fitness building yoga routine and thank you all for joining me today and i will see you on wednesday and on sunday every week and remember to flow with strength and ease <laughs>